good morning children how are you i hope you are all good and safe and securely staying at your home children in ma in our previous classes we have learned about the first chapter of 7th class from social studies that is reading maps of different kinds in this chapter we have learned about various kinds of uh, concepts like in the symbols we learn about point line area etc and uh, we learn about physical map also in this physical map we have learned about various uh, concepts like colors and uh, which part of the physical uh, feature is showing uh, uh, which type of color and all these things we have learned in this uh, part later we discussed about uh, measuring heights on land in this part we learned uh, about uh, how we have to measure uh, you know different heights uh, in uh, various physical features for example if you want to measure uh, the height of the mountain we have to measure uh, from the you know the mean to sea level which means where the uh, you know uh, water uh, base is there you know from that we have to measure so this concept uh, we have learned in uh, measuring uh, heights of uh, land we discussed in uh, measuring heights of uh, land now children today let us discuss about contour lines what it is uh, contour lines here the, the contour lines are very very important uh, in maps let us know the meaning actual meaning of contour line first children this is contour line here you can understand that this one is uh, what mountain here uh, you know the basic uh, maps are all uh, not a uh, 3d maps it's uh, just uh, 2d maps so that uh, two dimensions only will be there in uh, basic maps but uh, it is very uh, very very tough to find out uh, the heights of the maps in uh, 2d maps so that uh, we will uh, uh, you know uh, you know estimate uh, the height of the maps uh, with uh, these lines so these lines are uh, nothing but a uh, contour lines the actual meaning of the contour lines are it's a joining the, these lines are a joining the places with equal heights remind you these lines are joining the places with equal heights if you see this uh, small circle here it indicates that uh, the tip of the mountain around the tip of the mountain line is there you know this line uh, height is indicating this one which means uh, this uh, you know uh, the, 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 this line uh, height is uh, same so uh, you know here uh, this one uh, is there you know this one is uh, you know another line this line is indicating that uh, yes the, the area around this mountain uh, height is equal so the contour line is nothing but uh, the line is joining the places with uh, equal height children another important concept in this one is here uh, these con uh, contour lines uh, cannot join together because these indicates what uh, height wherever this line goes uh, in the map uh, that you know line uh, uh, is having uh, equal height so if the lines are close uh, that means that uh, the places are having uh, various uh, heights if the line is uh, far away from each other that indicates that the places are uh, having uh, equal heights though it is uh, uh, away from one to each other but the entire area is having what same height so the contour line indicates what height children if you see this uh, map uh, here this indicates that uh, same height if you see this line you know this line is having same height children let us discuss about 
another part of this uh, lesson that is uses of map showing uh, heights what is uses of map showing heights here in this part contour lines the contour lines in the maps are showing the heights of the certain areas with this uh, contour lines we can uh, show that uh, certain areas in the maps like uh, the areas of uh, having uh, different physical features like uh, the nature of terrains mountain areas valley areas and even plain areas we can show with these uh, heights so if you want to show the heights in the maps uh, you have to show with the uh, contour lines my dear children if you see the physical map of andhra pradesh you can identify identify that the coastal plain of that uh, runs along the coast of the bay of bengal is uh, having what uh, green color if you see here the physical map of andhra pradesh the coastal line of andhra pradesh uh, is by having what uh, uh, the green color if you travel westwards from the coast from here the coast is you know from here to westwards if you travel here you know you can you will reach the hills uh, you know which uh, form the escarpment here the escarpment is there if you see this part of the area if you see this part of the area i will show you if you see this part of the area like uh, if you see here this is escarpment what is a uh, escarpment escarpment means what a long steep slope especially one of the edge of the plateau here this plateau what is the plateau dakkan plateau is there here the edge of the plateau is known as a what escarpment so this escarpment separately areas of land of different heights so this escarpment will show the difference between the heights here this coastal area is what you know uh, plain area and here the deccan plateau is there so this deccan plateau is uh, differentiating uh, here between uh, uh, you know the plain to what the plateau so where is the difference we can find uh, that place is nothing but this escarpment area so the plateau region itself is cut by the many rivers like krishna and godavari which form a deep and broad valleys of them if you see here you know this uh, you know the, the this type of uh, blue lines are showing what what it is uh, rivers so these rivers uh, flowing path uh, you know formed with uh, what deep valleys while here this escarpment comes uh, these rivers are flows very steeply and very speedy way it will flow and it will reach to this area the maps uh, you know will be useful for the construction of the roadways railways and even we can construct the dams and canals also so if you have the knowledge regarding with the contour lines and these are the contour lines so we can construct the roads while we are laying the roads we have to know the knowledge of uh, what the height is particular area so if you are uh, traveling uh, by the road uh, you can see the some uh, you know very corner uh, roads are there so u shaped uh, you know corners are there so why the uh, the engineers were constructed like that means is nothing but a height of that area let us discuss about mean to sea level here uh, if you see this map what this map uh, here if you see this uh, heights in nimbur village here if you want to measure the heights of this uh, you know what it is uh, mountain you have to measure from the zero meters zero meters is nothing but a, a ba basic and uh, level of the water here it is uh, known as a mean to sea level msl here from here to up to here we can measure the 
height why means uh, here in land uh, we have undulating surface is there which means sometime we are having uh, uh, height where you know mountains and a deep slope uh, you know de depression will be there valleys are valleys will be there but uh, the water in the sea always been uh, okay same level why means you know of course uh, we are having uh, tides uh, like high tides and low tides uh, you know in the sea will be there and they never stand still as a result of this phenomenon the level of the sea keeps uh, on either rising or falling which of these heights uh, do we take as the sea level or the zero meter height so in order to resolve this one you know the uh, you know scientists are there now they will carefully measure the frequent intervals of the mean level of the sea is calculated so they observe it and uh, they will take the measurements uh, you know uh, with the frequent intervals so over a period of time scientists observe the line and low levels of the sea and they have come to one calculated average levels which is known as a mean to sea level msl it is called as a what msl msl means what mean to sea level mean sea level we can call children children with this one we have learned about reading maps of different kinds in this chapter uh, in uh, in our previous videos we have discussed about symbols in a uh, symbol concept we have discussed about various symbols like uh, points lines areas and we went to physical maps here are the physical maps then later we went to uh, you know measuring the heights of land later we discussed about contour lines then uh, we have discussed about mean mean sea level with that uh, we can conclude this uh, chapter thank you